Many schools have purchased the IPVO camera for their classroom. There are two models, the IPVO P2V and the new Ziggy, which is an HD camera, gives you a little bit more clarity. Both cameras uh, do wonders in the classroom. They allow you to showcase live events. You can manipulate objects underneath them. You can put documents under here and do some annotations with a pen or a marker or whatever you want to demonstrate. And they're really good for just showing different live demonstrations up on the screen through your projector. However, one of the other features in the IPVO camera that sometimes I think teachers forget to use is the camera button. Down in the bottom right corner is a green button with a camera on it. And if you click that, it will take a snapshot. You can also press enter to take a snapshot and it'll do the same thing. To find these pictures, over on the left hand side of your IPVO window is a button called Review. Click that tab. And you can see all the pictures that I have taken throughout the day. And you can go through these pictures by clicking on them and you can review them. Now let's say you want to use one of these pictures in a Word document. You can get access to these pictures by clicking on one of them, right click, and choose Go to Image Folder. Here you will see a folder of all the pictures that you have taken using your IPVO software. To get one of these pictures into a Word document, open an existing Word document where you're hoping to put the picture. Then go find the picture you wish to insert and click on it and drag it down to your Word document. Word will come up and drag the picture to where you want to drop it. This process works similar for other pieces of software like PowerPoint. Or maybe you use an interactive whiteboard in class. You could take the picture and drag it into something like Smart Notebook. Or maybe you use eInstructions Workspace, formerly Interwrite Workspace, instead. Any software that allows you to insert pictures will take pictures that were captured by the IPVO camera. So the next time you're using your IPVO camera, you can always use it for live things, but don't forget to take a few snapshots along the way. Enjoy!